Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sazeta and this is what's happening right now. It's what investigators expected. They're now sure about the identities of three of the four bodies found in Cochiti Lake last Thursday. The Office of the Medical Investigator revealed this morning that the bodies are those of three boys last seen on August 12th of 2001 when their father picked them up for a custody visit and then disappeared. OMI says the bodies are those of 12-year-old Richard Sanchez Jr., 9-year-old Daniel Sanchez, and 2-year-old Christopher Sanchez. No word yet on the identity of the fourth body. The Rex State Police helicopter that crashed in the Santa Fe Baldy area earlier this month is being removed from the mountains. A private company is in the process of bringing that wreckage down. It will then be hauled onto a trailer so it can be transported to Greeley, Colorado, where there's a storage facility. Once there, the National Transportation Safety Board will look at the damage to develop a final report on just what caused that chopper to go down. Preliminary NTSB report showed it did hit the mountain, then continued flying for a minute or so before landing hard and rolling down a steep slope. The crash killed state police pilot Andy Tingwall and the hiker he was trying to rescue. A 14-year-old Albuquerque girl has disappeared. Her family fears she's being brainwashed by a 45-year-old man. Sandy Colores Munoz Ganales went missing last Friday. Her family believes she is with this man who she's been associated with. If you know where 14-year-old Sandy Colores Munoz Ganales may be, call Crime Stoppers at 843-STOP. Police believe a man wanted in Saturday's deadly armed robbery at an Albuquerque Denny's has fled to Mexico. Officers say two men helped Francisco Melgar get to Phoenix, then paid another man to take him to Mexico. Police have arrested Mario Burgos Rosales for harboring and aiding a felon, but so far have not charged that other man. Mexican police have been alerted to look for Melgar, who is from El Salvador. Albuquerque police arrested two other Salvadoran illegals Saturday for the robbery and also the murder of 34-year-old Denny's employee Stephanie Anderson. Police believe a fourth man is still at large. Be sure to stay with KRQE News 13 for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Here's a look at what's on TV tonight.